Welcome to the Focused Iron Beam Laboratory. The Declaration of Independence, the U.S. Declaration of Independence and the Israeli Declaration of Independence uh, inscribed onto this uh, small chip is being prepared as a gift uh, for President Obama in honor of his visit to Israel uh, at the request of the Prime Minister's office uh, from Jerusalem. This is a focused ion beam system. Actually, it's a dual focused ion beam system. A few words about how it works. In principle, it's a scanning electron microscope. So from here, we have a, an electron source with electromagnetic lenses, and we use them to form a focused electron beam, which rasters across the surface of the sample. And as a function of the position of the electron beam, we acquire signals from which we can form an image at very, very high resolutions. The sample itself, the samples are inside the vacuum chamber and the entire system is in vacuum. But this is not just a scanning electron microscope. In addition, we have an ion beam which works in tandem with the electron beam. It's an imaging system, but at the same time, we can drill holes or, or, or drill lines or any shapes that we want and we can also deposit at the same time. It basically means that we have like a machine shop but at the nanometer length scale. This is Dr. Cohen, she's been actually doing it, is using the FIB to write the Declaration of Independence. Um, it's actually written onto a small silicon chip. Uh, it's so small that uh, it's only a few millimeters across the chip itself. But the region where the Declaration of Independence in, of the U.S. Declaration of Independence in English and the Israeli Declaration of Independence uh, written alongside it are etched into the silicon is only about 200 by 200 microns across. Our hair diameter is about 80 microns. So the entire region where we've uh, written this in is about uh, a little over two diameters of human hair across. That's not the size of the letters. The letters are, of course, much, much smaller than that, and they're about a, a quarter of a micron. Again, the human hair is about 80 microns in diameter. And so what you see is CP doing this process um, where we are taking um, the, the written text uh, in electronic form, and we're actually using that to control the position of the ion beam when the ion beam impinges on the silicon sample, it's knocking the atoms off. Really, atoms are coming out, and as it sits there, the beam in one position, the holes get deeper and deeper, and then we move it over a little bit, and we continue etching or writing, if you will, the letters of the Declaration of Independence. This dual beam FIB is the first system of its kind ever installed in academia in Israel. So the Technion is a, a leader in electron microscopy in Israel, and also in ion beam microscopy. It was established as an independent laboratory as part of the Russell Berry Nanotechnology Institute here on campus and we are very very grateful for this bequest which allowed us to purchase this equipment um, installed in a very special configuration and allows us to do the kinds of experiments that we're doing here at RBNI on campus of the Technion.